on camera. It's so small you might miss it. But look at the top right corner. Yeah, I would say frustrating. Major Jeremy Berger says that's a drone and it's hovering over Offutt Air Force Base. And it's not the first one they've seen. Berger says they've had several in the last two months. There's always a risk of uh a threatening situation or host someone having hostile intent. We don't assess that that's the situation now. Uh, it's most likely recreational users, uh, which presents more of a flight safety risk. Now they're asking the public to stop. So if drones flying in the air, anything flying in the air is, is a risk to the, to the plane. So we don't want any small aircraft getting sucked up into jet engines. Could be, uh, could be bad. Where we are most concerned about drones uh, would be on the approach and departure ends of the runway because obviously that's where the airplanes are going to be at their lowest and most vulnerable point to a low flying drone. Over that's in all. Miller, Dave Poole with Oracle Aviation says if you're within five miles of Offit or Epley, you are probably in a no fly zone. <laughs> going to be restrictions if you're out flying a drone around any airport, not just off at Air Force Base or Epley Airfield, but even airports like Millard. Now, Poole says that if you are going to be flying a drone recreationally, just be mindful of low flying aircraft. Poole says even if your drone is for fun, it yeah. should be taken seriously. They think of these as a maybe a Christmas toy, something they just got for the holidays, and they don't think about the severity of what can happen if things do go wrong. Off its planes are scheduled to move back in the summer, and Poole says if you don't follow the rules, you'll have to face the FAA. They range from warnings, potentially additional training, all the way up to what can be fairly significant fines. Waverly Monroe, KETV Newswatch 7. So if you got a drone as a gift this holiday season, there is a federal safety test that you must pass, and you have to register your drone with the FAA. You can do that by going to FAA.gov backslash UAS. Then anytime you go to use your drone, you're going to need to check whether it is safe to fly. You can do that on the app before you fly. It has interactive maps that show restricted and safe air spaces, and you can find the app in your phone store. It's also available to use on desktop computers.